beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? Hopefully fine and well. I just smelled dirt just now. It's so funny because in the Libra reading, I saw angels, my loves. While I was filming, I have to go back and check it out. Absolutely bananas. But in your reading, you guys, I'm smelling dirt. <laughs> You're probably like, what the hell? But honestly, you guys look king of swords and king of pentacles. That makes a lot of sense right now. Scorpio. This is probably not what is it you want to hear, but there's this message right now of grounding, centering, cooling. I just heard cool the earth. Cool the earth. I'm seeing um, rain. I'm seeing like a vision of rain and storms. I'm seeing storms, but it's not bad. It feels really refresh refreshing. It feels very replenishing. And that is what spirit wants for you right now. Um, Seven of Pentacles is here with the King of Pentacles. And this is a message of, why don't we just pause for a minute and see what we have done so far and revisit or reconsider or assess or evaluate what else we want to do if anything at all and what happens when we get water and dirt together or water and earth in a nice healthy balance we get really beautiful fertile mud where seeds start to awaken things start to move we have the chariot card here so for you my love you're invited right now in order to make mud in your life and how do you do that by grounding yourself ace of swords where are you going where are you going what do you want i'm starting to get tickles on my nose right now that's the angels are really really present it's very angelic energy right now i don't want to say that i'm surprised but just how loud loud or not loud but how obvious they're showing up it's just showing me that there's angelic movement that's happening today and i'm here for that two of cups two of cups interesting because um libra had the lovers all right, let's just put that here. I also feel like shuffling the Lenormand here for you guys. Something is growing and building and getting more and more fertile over time. It's kind of reminding me of a woman's, ooh, a woman's cycle. You guys can't see this, but that's the lady right there. And then you're probably wondering what's this card right behind her. And my loves, it's the tree. So what does this mean? This shows me that it reminds me of a woman's cycle, like things that are just generationally, we all, no matter what the experience is um, or what time we're born into, we all kind of experience almost the same things. It's kind of biological. And that's actually what the tree kind of connects to is biological. So it's with time. So I want to say almost, if that's the case, then we can do anywhere between 23 and 28 days. We can have a really serious, massive change. Um, definitely for the better. I feel that it's going to be better. I feel like this is going to be very fertile. And the thing is, my loves, my loves, my loves, um, the first thing that I started off talking about is the fertility, well, the, the fertile soil. That's exactly what I said, actually. It's water and earth coming together in order to create, in order to manifest. And I think within 23 and 28 day, days time, I think that you would be able to see something come to fruition. It does take time though. We don't want to rush this process. And as I'm saying that, guess what showed up? You're not going to believe it. The moon card. What does that mean? It means that 28 days literally is confirmed here. Absolutely confirmed. It's going to be a truth. It's going to be something that's contributing to your happily ever after, to your ultimate idea of happiness. However, however, spirit is really honestly saying that your true source of happiness, your well of happiness is always going to come from within. It's never going to be over there that thing once this happens i'm going to be complete and whole if you are feeling unhappy right now or 
destabilized is the word that's coming through. We want to stabilize you first. Remember, we're going to ground ourselves. We want to stabilize you first before we add anything into the mix because this is some fertile soil that we're working with right now. It's not even soil anymore. It's mud. And once that sun hits, which is only a matter of time, once that sun hits, things are going to naturally start to grow all by themselves effortlessly with ease. You are another pile that also got the Empress card here. However, she was reversed, sitting next to the King of Swords reversed, the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Hierophant. This is a feeling of a, a, a queen. It doesn't matter your gender, your sex, your identity. I work with energy here. So it's your self-worth, your self-value, self and all that you contribute, and all your glory, and all your divine en energy. How you give that... Uh, to the world and how you give that to yourself, but something about that feels uprooted. It feels like you were overburdened um, It feels like you were Stressed out big time stressed out starting to get really negative starting to get very complacent and then starting to feel Like nothing is happening here. I have to abandon ship. It's not working out and I honestly don't feel like that is truly the case. Oh my God, everyone's getting a lover's card. Everyone's coming into, I feel like, divine union with their with their soulmate. Or soul connections, or these soul, these purpose, like super aligned things. Um, such a high vibe, such a high vibe, especially with Jupiter retrograde now, the time of me filming this, but of course these messages are timeless. Something really is coming into, coming to a head right now, coming to a head and wants to really bud, grow and, and boil up you know what I mean in the best way possible um, but again even if I'm saying boil but everything takes time even boiling water and a watch a watch pot doesn't boil as they say so what you want to do nine of swords is here devil card reversed queen of pentacles is reversed I'm having a hard time picking her up is you don't want to keep tending to it and poking at it and checking in on it and uprooting it and moving the plants around and up you know it just doesn't create a conducive en environment you want to really let it go um it's almost like you keep tending to things if you see a weed pop up in a garden by all means pull that weed um if you know that watering your plants during the day during the summertime is the water is going to burn the, the earth or burn the plants, don't water it. Wait until the right time, right? Wait until the right time. As soon as the sun dips down, you're gonna go a whole lot further, even though you think you're doing the right thing, but you have to respect, you know, the timing of things. You're gonna get further if you respect the timing, right? But we don't keep meddling in and we don't keep doing research. We don't keep checking in. We allow it to be, we allow it to explore, especially with the King of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. This is about being self-assured in who you are, what you've done, what you contribute, and realizing that those things will come to you, they will meet you more than halfway. Because I feel like you've got, you've done a lot, especially with the Empress here, she was actually first, I believe she was reversed at, at first, sometimes she overtends to things. Why? Because she wants it so badly, but we don't want to get caught up in our an, an inability to let go of things, an inability to uh, trust to trust the process and to, tr and to trust how things are gonna work out. It will be for your highest and greatest good, just trust. I'm feeling with this um, nature oracle here. This has a lot to do, we're working with energy. Look, harvest and sow, my loves. Signs and visions. I do not see this as a good thing for you, my loves. I feel like you keep looking up, you keep looking for a sign, you keep looking for confirmation and clarity for things that you've already sensed or things that you've sensed before. You've had a prophecy, a vision, and all of a sudden it's gone now. So is it still going to happen? Yes, trust. Look, growth and abundance, I'm telling you, and happiness at hand. This is massive gratitude vibes, you guys. This is nothing, you haven't done anything wrong. You just are looking for... I mean, Scorpio, you're so in tune. You're so connected to your feelings and your emotions. But sometimes when, you're, when your logic starts to kind of speak to you in the back of your mind and your emotions are really asking for certain things and you have an emotional need, it can make you question your intuitive feelings, your intuitive hunches that were already given to you. And that's okay. It happens to the best of us. Trust and believe. But also trust and believe that you do have a fertile ground here and that something is absolutely coming into alignment right now, but you mm, 
getting into your mind, you getting into your headspace and driving your own self crazy is not going to be able to make it manifest any faster. Again, we have to respect the cycles of time and I'm seeing 28, 23 to 28 days. So you're going to have to let me know. <laughs> and I also want to know what you're manifesting. It's the first thing that would cause the most happiness in your life and joy right now. But also remember Scorpio, happiness comes from within. You cannot be without it. All right, my my loves. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this message resonates and gave you gave you confirmation and clarity into whatever it is that you were struggling with right now, if anything at all. Or maybe you just needed to reassure and reaffirm. And I'm getting the energy of 111 here um, that everything is okay and everything is okay. If this helped and if you love this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that helps me in my goals for my YouTube channel and who I reach who I reach now. And I also want to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.